Hi guys, and welcome back to another PCSX2 settings video. My other one's almost at 100,000 views now, which is absolutely insane. I'd like to say thank you to everyone first. We're going to get straight into this, even faster straight into this than the other one. Basically, I had to reinstall everything um, on my PC, so I had to redo all these settings. So I will show all my settings again, and try to explain some of the problems uh, you have been having. First of all, these have all stayed the same. I've changed the settings a bit. This is at 100%. That works the smoothest. So I just left this at 100%, 5 and 1000. That gets me the smoothest FPS because I've noticed in Task Manager it actually uses more of my PC resources. So it goes from 60% CPU to usage to around 90, which actually, well, then uses your PC. So it actually gets better FPS. This, uh, I just set it to fit slash window screen. So just copy all this, uh, speed hacks, this is all like this, um, these actually have caused, caused some issues for me, like just minor visual issues, so this is what I have it at, but you can try turning these on and off, and one of the big things that you guys need to do is if you have a different PC, you need to try turning things on and off, and after you have all that set like that, uncheck the preset box, if I click it, see the way it, you know, shades out things, well, uncheck that so you can actually you know use some of the settings it's that simple I never messed around with the audio but I have had to recently so let's get into that this is what I have it at it works perfectly for me people have said to set it at this thing which is ps2 like slow which does get you the best audio but it, it glitches out like every five seconds so just copy this all these settings uh, advanced uh, I just have it set like that I don't know how that is I don't know what it does if you go into plugin settings these are important because one major thing has changed first of all this is set to full safest if you haven't if you haven't seen my original PCSX2 settings video it's linked in the top right card right now you can see it there and yeah, default hardware device works best because when I set it to my GTX 1050 Ti, lags a bit. Yes, you do need a good graphics card or at least a 750 Ti, I would think, to run the game well. I'm probably wrong, but, you know, I use a 1050 Ti and that works fine on these settings. If you're using a laptop, that's even bigger problem, but that's a whole nother story. I recently had to reinstall it, um, so yes, I had some problems that you guys were saying that I had the black screen problem. Um, in the configure hacks, this is set like this. I turned off align sprite and I set sprite to off and round sprite to full because I stopped having the other problems. Also, uh, this thing is very important. I set the TC offset X to 500 and the Y to 1000. When you hover over it, it says if you set it to 500 and 1000, it might fix some issues. And it's fixed a bunch of shaking issues I've had with the game. And this has fixed it as well. That along with setting it to a 16 by 9 resolution. What do I mean by that? Well, I mean 1080p, 1920 by 1080. That's a that's a 16 by 9 resolution ratio. 4840 by 2520 uh, is the sweet spot for me. It gets me the best FPS and the best quality at the same time. I'm still having some slowdown right now because um, I, I use these settings settings which make it you know not shake but of course uh, it makes it harder to run for some reason I don't exactly understand it if anyone does you can help me down below or um, help some other people maybe that need help and I will always help people in the comments I've answered every single comment on my PCSX2 original video a every day I answer at least a comment I try to help everyone but there's there is 200 dislikes so there's people that need help so I guess I'll make this if they see it filtering to 8 um, if so again if you're having problems right now just Turn down the resolution, set it to custom. I would definitely set it to custom, not to 8 times native anymore, because that's what causes the shaking, along with having Bob TFF turned on. You have to have Bob TFF turned on, because it says it fixed shaking, but it only fixes shaking if you, for me, if you have this, which you might not need, you might not need this, but you definitely will need this to be a 16 by 9 ratio. So set it to custom, set it to, nine, start off at 1920 by 1080, if that runs okay, search up on Google, I searched up true 16 by 9 ratio, like all ratios, all pixel display ratios. So I've gradually went up and up, and I just went up and up in pixel ratios um, until I got the sweet spot. And yeah, I've tested this for a couple hours, so this should work the best for you. Um, so set it to 3D11 hardware. You can try other stuff, but that's what has worked best for me. If you can't use it, then... I don't know, there must be a problem with your graphics card because I've had a couple of people, only around four people say that, that they've had that problem. But still, I want to help out everyone, so I'm trying my best here. Shader configuration, I still have that 64 and 55, enable shader boost. And I also enabled FXAA. Um, yeah, you know what? I think that might actually been of 
causing a problem with the slowdown. I will test it out right now. Also, another thing, automatic game fixes. You can try turning this on and off. I've had problems with it turning it on before. I'm going to disable it for now and see how it goes. But if it doesn't go well, I'll just turn it back on. It's that simple. As you can tell, there's absolutely no shaking, which is just, just perfect. I've had some shaking there. So another thing, if it is shaking, it's either because I set this to uh, automatic game fixes. So let me try that right now because I'm still testing things to this day. Yeah, you might want to keep automatic game fixes enabled. I'm not sure. Nope, still has that. So what I did and what I didn't realize it affected it is close down PCSX2, open it up again after you've got new settings every single time and then boot it up again. If I still have that shaking with the PS2 logo, I don't know. I didn't have it last time, but it's not a big deal anyway. Yeah, it's not in the middle either. Have no idea what that's about. But this doesn't shake. This used to shake. I don't know. It that fixed it. The 500 and 1000 thing and the resolution. This doesn't shake anymore. And if you're having any problems with any other little things in the description of my original video, I put a lot of information there. Also, there is a crap ton of comments on my original PCSX2 video, and a lot of people have put different information. I'm almost certain some of it will work for you, as long as you have a good enough PC. That's one of the big things. People have been using laptops and two cores. You just can't. You just can't. You can try. If it works, that's awesome. But from what I've noticed, I, it's just... It just doesn't work. It either ends up with the game crashing, a black screen, or some other problem that makes the game unplayable. So maybe the enable FXA was uh, fixing that shaking. Let me just try that again. So I'll close it, open it up again. And yeah, guys, if you want to join my Discord server, I have one. It'll be linked in the description. That's where I, you guys vote for what I stream. I talk to you guys. You give me game recommendations. You post your YouTube videos if you're a YouTuber, or you post memes because I like memes and we have a memes chat. Or you can just talk to me on Discord if you want, if you need any help. Because uh, people, you know, I've already helped out or a good 20 people, you know, personally in chats, talking to them. They showed me their screen and I helped them out. I helped out, I, th I think, one person I couldn't help because their PC just couldn't run it. But besides that, everybody else, I basically solved the problem for. I'm not an expert. Guys, remember that? I just try my best and I, I'm trying my best to help you guys. Yeah. This is not centered or in the middle. I don't know what's happening. This is in the middle. See, this is another problem I just encountered now while recording. Didn't have it before. And stuff like this will always happen, which is why I did say not to change the settings, but also experiment a little bit. So change one setting at a time. One setting at a time, change it back. That's how I found out. I changed one setting at a time, and the game still majorly changed stuff. So I was confused. I was like, how did it have that issue? have it before and had the same setting. Well, it's because, you know, I had to reset it. Also, yeah, the game looks even better now. There's less blur, I guess, when things are moving around, and it's more sharp. Also, you know, no shaking at all. Just, just perfect. I don't know other way to put it. Excuse me. Band of Thieves, and I have Thievius Raccoonus now, and Band of Thieves. So I have all three slide games. I played slide three as a kid, and two. 3 is my favorite because it had 2 player. Also, if you guys want to check out the series I have going on on Sly 3, click the top right iCard. Yeah, this has the same shaking thing in here. I actually never had that in this, but this even looks better. I don't know why, you know? Probably where I'm getting my ISOs from, the actual files for the games. And no Sly 2 save file, and I can't click the thingy. But as you can tell, nothing's shaking. It's tiny bit shake because um, the only way to get rid of all the shaking is to turn the resolution higher. I turned it to 8K, and I managed to run the game at, I think, 5 FPS. I could try doing it right now, but I don't want to crash and have the settings all worked out. So yeah, if you do have any problems, comment them down below, join my Discord server, add me on Discord, and uh, yeah, link below to everything, read the description, read the, make sure to read through the comments, there might be some stuff there, or on my original PCSX video, I'll always answer and try to help out in any way I can. See you guys in the next video, hopefully this helped answer some questions. Bye!